Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I'm in Loman, Idaho. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. Campsite 10. Look at that river. Looks like this is about as close as we can get. Have to put two levelers under that wheel tire on this side. Got good sun for the solar. Quite a view of that river. Now I hear that there are awesome hot springs here. And that's why we're here. They had a fire here. Dropping through a lot of burnt forest. Good deal. Someone was nice enough to leave me some firewood. I can make that work. $15 a night here. Campground host right there. Look at those babies. What do you think, babies? Think it's a good spot? Think it's a good spot? I kind of like it. I like it. It's okay. Right, we could do better. Well, baby, if you can do better, you go find a better spot. But I think you're stuck with us. Well, kind of close. Well, actually, it's dead on it, but I like my bubble to be back a little bit this way. That way my head's higher than my feet. And I need to raise up the passenger side to bring it more level. So I'll put two of the tri-levelers under the passenger rears. I'll back up on them. Easy does it. Perfecto. Perfecto. Yeah. All it took was one up on the back tires. Always remember, use two of these when you do this. Don't put all your weight on just one tire. Ain't she pretty? She's not perfect, but she's pretty. And she's mine. I noticed when I come in here, all these piles of brush and tons of trees cut out of here, thinned out. I didn't know what was going on until I come over here and read this sign. This is caution, the down green wood within this campground is infested with bark beetles. Remove at your own risk. Don't stack next to live trees. And we had trouble back in Georgia. Gosh, 20 years ago, my daddy had about 100 acres. And we got the beetles in our pines. And we cut them down for pulp wood, but everybody had the beetles. So the wood, they had an overabundance of wood. 
and didn't bring anything. I often wonder if we should have just left it alone, let them die. Because tore up the property getting them out. Maybe it saved some of the pines. Walk down to walk down to the fee area. And there's the sign. Hot springs. Hot spots on rotten eggs. I thought I smelled sulfur when I went across the top of the ridge up there. Give them my money. There's a lot being said about ticks right now. And uh, they're going to see if ticks were actually weaponized for uh, to spread disease. So... But hopefully, I don't. I don't have any kind of flea medicine or tick medicine on the on the wolf pack. We don't ever have a problem. Only when we're in one place for too long. I had a problem with the RV base camp. Got the babies on their leashes. I think I'll go down and take a look at those hot springs. bit of a hike to get in here. Not too terrible. Not feeling too good about this stuff brushing up against me with tick warnings. Just met some people on the trail here. They said that it's kind of steep and to be careful, but I had it all to myself back here. There was no one else here. They were the last ones. It's about six in the afternoon. Wasn't expecting this wind. And that's the hot spring right there. I can feel the heat come off these rocks.
got a feeling there's more to see around this corner. I think where that water splashing is another hot spring, but there's someone in there. I'll come back up to the top. A little hot spring here. That's pretty. It's not very deep. It's not very hot. Something to see. As for me, I've been 24 hours without internet. <laughs> I'm behind. I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna keep all my comments and emails and Patreon and every, everybody up to date, but I'll find a way. Be patient with me. I promise it'll be worth it. I'll bring back some beautiful footage. But I'm gonna end this little video right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Forrest Gauntlet. <laughs>